What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to part 2 of the May edition of our server update tour. Today we're going to carry on going around the rest of Whiteburg that we couldn't see last time and then head on over the pond to Kalmar and go on over to Brennis later on to see what Limbo has been doing there. But first of all, let's get started with Porchester Castle. Okay, so you find me standing outside here at Porchester Castle, built by Bryn. Now Bryn is currently doing the rest of the island here, so this is on its own private little island in the south sea of Whiteburg. Now I put him down here because Porchester was going to be a project we were going to build as a team. Um, I think it was back on the old server, but we couldn't get around to doing it in time. So when last month's competition came up for the building of forts and castles, Bryn wanted to have a go at building this one, and unbeknownst to him is quite a family connection to me in real life. As we get into the church, I'll explain a bit more. As we're walking up to the castle walls here, you can see the damage and the ruin that goes on with them. You've got all sorts of different blocks being used here to texture it. I think this works really well. So in real life, this castle was right next to the sea in Portsmouth direction, and it actually was built as a Roman fort, which gives it this nice square uh, footing to it. Now most of these walls around it were actually still the Roman walls that have just been reinforced over time. But enough wobbling about the walls on the outside, let's go on in. So we've got this nice little area here, this gatehouse with some really nice little bandings up there on the roof and you've got the interesting little brackets there. But as we walk on in we can see the large scale area of the inside of the castle. So over on my left we have the Norman keep that is actually covered with a nice moat around it. And I see that people are in here again having a little look around. Oh no! Oh, excuse me, sir, has there, has there been a murder? There has been a murder. Are you Doctor Who looking... Uh, okay, what's what's happened here? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Poor dweebs. Alas, dweebs. Arise. Anyway. <laughs> There's been a murder. So we're going to go into the the keep here. Now this castle was destroyed in the English Civil War and so in the Whiteburgian Civil War as well it was slighted and it hasn't been rebuilt since. Now in real life this place was used as a prisoner of war camp during the Napoleonic Wars and inside the main keep there are some beautiful murals that have been painted by the French prisoners. Unfortunately I don't think Bryn has added them into this uh, no, there's just a very, very dark hole in this. Let's not go inside that. But I like the ruinous nature of the whole castle. It's really hard to build something damaged in Minecraft unless you sort of build it first and then go through and break it all up. So let's head on over this direction now towards the church. I want to tell you a story uh, while Doctor Who is trying to clean up this mess in here. Now, in real life, my family come from Portsmouth direction and my great-grandmother on my dad's side is actually buried in that churchyard over there. Obviously not in, in in game, although there may be. Did they put a sign? I don't know. So the churchyard, the church has been here again since the Roman period. It's ancient. It's one of the oldest churches in the whole of Hampshire. I believe it's St. Mary's Church in real life. Uh, and here again on this island, it has just been built and it's been sitting here for century upon century upon century. It's very extensive and it's got a good sort of covering of, of plants. I like the scotch pine you've got going on there. Yes, I said scotch pine again instead of scots pine. I don't know what's wrong with me when it comes to that. Uh, I blame my hay fever. But yeah, you've got a good selection of graves through here. And uh, people just wandering about the place. Uh, what's been going on over here? Hello, I think this is actually... Oh no, this isn't Bryn, it's Atta Turtle. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So I remember walking around the back here more than recently, probably about five years ago, and looking for the graves. And so you've done a great job. I, I really applaud you for the attention to detail with this place. And the church is looking great. You've got all the little additions on there. And it's got that nice roof as well. These are really hard roofs to get, do in-game. Because we don't have any red blocks really to do something you don't want to use brick for all the time. So doing it with jungle planks like this or acacia, I believe this is. Mixed in with some granite slabs. That looks really, really good. Great stuff here, Bryn. And I think this is your only foray into Whiteburg so far. So I can't wait to see... What you do with the rest of the island. Hey, I wonder if I can uh, join in. <laughs> it's Wubex with Bubex, Pubex, and is this Pubex? I don't know who this one is, but this is all of the Ubexes and, and hey, oh, thanks for the cookie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat all your cake and, and, and also this cake. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have a, I have a cake problem. And what are these, what are these guys up to over here? Oh, oh, there's, oh dear. Right, anyway, leaving leaving these guys behind, I think it's time for us to go on over to a place on the other side of Whiteburg that is kind of not Whiteburg. It's actually United Colonies. Carter has been building somewhere over in Canada now, and I believe it's pronounced as the Highway Guyway. Correct me if I'm wrong, Carter, but I believe that's how you sort of put it in the description for me to read. Anyway, let's go take a look at this place. There are some cliffs for us to see. 
Right, so Carter has been busy over here building this amazing cliff face in Haidegawi, which is going to be their naval sort of capital of the uh, of the world. As you can see, planning is still up in the air, and I love making that joke so much. And also, is that pumpkin or pineapple you're just chucking about the place there? Should we do it? Should we do another CDP advert? And guys, if you haven't already seen, the CDP are offering 80% off membership now. Please join so we can carry on controlling the world. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, planning is definitely up in the air there. But this place, Carter, it's it's weird. It's a good weird. You've used a large, large selection of blocks here, and I would never have thought of putting emeralds in the side of mountains, nor gold, nor stone bricks that are mossy. Or what is that? Is that? that glazed terracotta oh yes it is glazed terracotta wow what what an incredible collection of stuff and as you can see here it's still ongoing but i believe carter wanted me to see it just to show off his prowess at terraforming it really is getting there carter it's very very nice this i can't wait to see the rest of it and there's some people just walking on water there right so we have one last place to look at in whiteburg slash not really in whiteburg but it kind of is let's go see the scion park which was another gift that was given to me as part of my birthday celebrations so wobex thank you for building that let's go take a look at it right so here we are at scion park now this place was given to the white bergen empire by the italians as a birthday gift for when they became their own independent country shaking off the shackles of one of the european powers i think it was germany let's say it was germany so this building is currently not seated anywhere properly yet oh that's a really nice little fountain there um, but it will one day be sitting in Whiteburg City along with the race course as that's going to be the jewel in the crown of Whiteburg. Now this place is based on a real life conservatory called Sion Park which is just across the River Thames from the real life Kew Gardens. Now what we've got going on here is a botanical gardens of excellence. Should we go take a look inside? You can see Wobex has put his face along everywhere because why not? So in here we have all sorts of flowers and plants going on. We've got just some fishing happening here because why not i wouldn't mind going to a garden center and just starting fishing as well but what's great is you walk on through here and you start to feel like you're in a jungle you've got trees and flowers and plants going everywhere along the sides you've got the shaders coming in through there giving you a nice impression of it being a sunshiny warm place in here and then we've got coming up here to the main center of the park oh look at this place you've got hanging baskets all sorts of little details going on so take take notes on these guys i've never seen someone do hanging baskets before obviously that requires a little bit of world edit there to get the plants on top but incredible stuff indeed and then we come in here to the main atrium the main vestibule of the building itself that is some incredible glass work oh wow oh i feel like i'm just in crystals and diamonds in the sky perfect stuff so when this is properly seated somewhere it is really going to look the part. I'm going to ignore the hanging bodies up there. Uh, so Limpet, sir, how are you doing? Yes, very nice glasses there. Uh, we'll walk on through this side as well and just see more excellence. So I'm thinking this will go in the Royal Park of Whiteburg City, which will be near the main castle. Now, the main castle slash palace will be based on Wilton House. Have a look at that one on Google Maps. And you'll see why I've chosen it. But let's take a little venture out into the grounds quickly now and see a bit more of this place. Look at it. It's, it looks like a spaceship from Star Wars, but it also looks like an absolutely gorgeous Victorian uh, botanical house. Wobex, thank you so much for doing this. I, I'm, I've been absolutely spoiled, spoiled rotten by you guys. Thank you so much. Anyway, that concludes the tour around Whiteburg for now. Let's jump on over to Kalmar and see what hockey's been up to. So if you can see here, Ignore all of that stuff. I was I was meant to do a cut from here to here, but I, I kind of messed up the order. Anyway, as you can see, there is quite a nice bit of farmland we're going to now. This is Ecradon Manor, so I'll see you guys over there. So you find me standing here at the main entrance to Ecradon Manor House. Now this is built in the Pomeranian part of Germany while it was under the control of Sweden, I believe. Now this is a main, a real life building again, and Hockey's recreated it here in absolute glory so we're going to walk down the main drive and see what's going on i already spy i spy amazingly beautiful house with that's quite an interesting bell tower on it do you know when you're back here you, you don't see it at first you sort of look at the house and go oh yes very nice palladian styled house really nice use of the pediment above the doorway there then you walk in a bit closer you're like oh hello that's a there's a bell tower interesting stuff but what i've noticed over here apart from the lovely little flowers is the excessive graveyard that's going on here Oh my, what what happened here? I'm guessing this has been lived in for probably a best part of a thousand years. 
There is a lot of bodies in this ground. Um, but there's also a lot of rapeseed. Oh, look at that. Miles and miles of it. That's incredible. So, Hockey, you've you've been busy, I can see. Uh, let's wander on through wander on through the, the trees here. So, something you've been doing recently is building your own custom trees. Yes, we have a tree pack that we use. You can download it probably from the description if I remember to put it in there. But also, on the server, the builder's been building their own trees. And it's starting to really give us quite a nice plethora of more trees we can use. So, we're now at the main house itself. And I can see there's more statues than me up there. <laughs> I, I actually love that skin. Whoever made that skin is a god. I think it was Ozzy. Um, but yeah, so this is the main house itself, and it sits here really nicely in the landscape. Wouldn't you love to live here? It feels very self-sufficient. You've got small little buildings of like farms lying around the place. You've got you've got people having little baths. I'm gonna maybe I'll join Duncan for a bath. Hello, sir. Uh, can you can you share the sponge? Can you can you can you share the sponge? Oh, you you have. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! I, I was, I was too violent in the bath. We must, we must, we must run. We must run. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the house itself is a lovely 18th century style building. Good use of all of the different texturings there to get the bone blocks to look like they've been worn a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure who that is on the ceiling. And again, we've got this lovely orange roof. You've gone for the orange, uh, the orange sandstone, the red sandstone, which is a block that is very seldom used. Um, it's very bright, that's all I can say, but it's nice. It, it gives you that proper German feel to it, I think, or at least that sort of European feel. Moving on around to the back here, you can already see the Kalmarian flag in the background here. Is this like some small little village? I, I wouldn't mind living here, just sort of in the grounds, mingling with the main houses as well. And I think I can spy something else over there as well, a similar sort of fashion. But you can see we've come around to the garden face, very much the same as the front. I just... I love the depth of detail you've done around here, Hotkey. When when you started on, on the server, uh, I guess about 12 months ago now, you know, your skills were there, but they have developed so much over the last 12 months that I am gobsmacked. You are one of my sort of favourite sort of developments. You know, we, we get people on who are just absolutely amazing already. You've grown and, you, and you've changed as a builder for the better. Anyway, that's my... I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. But still, Hotkey, great stuff indeed. I'm going to fly up and have a look at these fields over here. So what's quite nice is the eclectic sort of style you've gone for. Rather than all being straight fields or all being sort of curvy, wavy fields, these feel very nice as sort of medieval fields where things are just being cut up over time, given off to random people like, here you go, have a bit of land. What am I going to do with that? I don't know. Grow some stuff. That's, that's pretty much what happened in the Dark Ages for about a thousand years, and then they went... Hey, look, we can get animals to do our bidding for us. Hey, look, we can make trains. I, I have no idea where I'm going with this conversation. Anyway, I think we should go look at see what, what Limbo has been doing in Brennus before I lose my mind here in the fields of rapeseed. Anyway, let's go take a look at that. Okay, so we're back in one of your guys' favourite city. This is the obviously Bresnice built by Limbo, and the place is growing like mad. I believe there's now a connection by road all the way down to Rome. We'll get to Rome in the next part of this series. Uh, but today, what we're going to go look at is the castle, which is just up over here behind there. Which way? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I think we should just wander down the street because I haven't really walked around this place yet. Ah, oh, there is so much to behold and be seen. And, ooh, I think that's the castle coming into view, unless I've gone the completely wrong way. Uh, I've got, obviously, a lot of building carrying on around here. Limbo, this place is incredible. Do you know what? Every time I come here, I am gobsmacked, and we can never go anywhere. I just have to stand and go, ooh, ah, ooh, this is very ooh and ah, actually. Nice little square. That's pretty cool. Right, well, we're wandering up here to the castle up ahead. You can see it there in the distance now. I believe Limbo did build it with the intention of submitting it on the on the monthly build challenge. He may have done. I don't know. There were so many builds in there. I couldn't work out whose was whose, to be honest, in the end. But here we go. This is the castle of Bresnice. Ah, oh, it is a proper nice sort of Central European uh, Czech castle. You've got that good feel with all the random eclectic buildings sitting around the place. Long walls and lots of small little towers and bits and bobs. And we've got, we've got some distinguished guests wandering around the place here again. I love this. It's like a proper little tour. 
I guess Dweebs is just hiding in a wall. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. We, 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 people come on now. Uh, White Bergens come on and do a grand tour every so often. And I think that's great. It feels like it's what you would do when you walk around Italy in the uh, 18th and 19th century trying to get inspired by things. Oh my. Is that is that hay bales in the wall? I have never seen anyone do that before. Probably cue a moment when I came to Brillisney's last time and went, oh my god, I've never seen someone do that before. Do you know what? I actually am having a memory now of that happening. Oh, there's there's some flag fighting going on here. I I'm not going to take sides on which one's better there, but I think the Dutch flag probably looks a bit nicer than the Czech flag. Um, but yeah, so that is the castle. Oh, I missed the gatehouse here. Oh, hello, Bobex. Um, look at that. On an angle, an angle of how many blocks? I think that's three by three. Yes, it is. With a really nice spiky roof there as well. So Limbo has set me on the task of finding the Backstreet uh, Bakeries. Now, I missed this on our last tour, and I can't remember where it is now. I think it may have been over by the cathedral. So let's take a quick fly over the town so you guys can see a bit more of the planning in person at quite a fast speed where I'm not going to stop and look at everything because this place is huge. The river's beautiful. Everything just works. Where are these back streets? So we found ourselves down here to the main square. The fountains are great. I think we came here last time. Ooh, I don't think I saw this before. I love it when people build these large crosses like this. So this reminds me of the Albert's one outside of the uh, Royal Albert Hall in London. He's still there. I think he's painted gold as well. Um, and that's kind of what this is going on here. Yeah, that's really cool. The nice little star base around it. So I think if we carry on, I'm just going to jump away from that completely. I think what we need to do is find out where these places are. So if we look at the map, I can see it. It's just up there on the other side of the square. So let's fly on up over here and see these back street little uh, eateries. Right then, guys, are you feeling hungry? Because I know I am. Let's carry on through here into the back street areas so he did send me a little message saying read the menus so let's see what's on the menus around here but this is really cool i love little courtyards like this oh there's a there's a little greenhouse there that's a really nice little touch as well what's going on over here oh here we are the little back street restaurant Ugh, so i came in the wrong way and had to fly over the fence Really nice little parasols here. You could feel yourself sitting out in the sunshine here, just drinking an espresso, uh, eating some crab or something. I don't know. Whatever they serve here. Was there a menu? Let's, let's take a look around the place, actually. Oh, I spy my little eye. The menu over here. So let's have a little look inside this book. So on the menu, we have gherkin soup. We have a pineapple pizza, gherkin and pineapple stew, and gherkin with pineapple sauce. Oh, that is tasty. I may actually... I actually take that and can I oh no I can't I think we need to add frogs to that now because there is just um quite a collection of, of, of frogs that keep spawning everywhere why is there so many frogs okay so that probably concludes part two of the tour um thank you guys for joining me for this one it's been a great little whistle stop tour around what we left over from last time join me in part three where we travel back over to Rome and see what uh Wobex has been doing there we also go see Ozzy in Ostend and Duncan in Hogadam so let's go take a look at that in part three but until then guys remember get inspired get building and I'll see you next time